Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I want to discuss something that could be problematic for the world of jailbreaking after both iOS 8.3 and 8.4, being iOS 9. <laughs> All right, and really quick before we begin, for those of you interested in winning a brand new Apple Watch, navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, sign up, come back here, rate this video up, and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code, which is actually inside of the link itself after the equals symbol in the fourth tab down below at the bottom there. And now before I switch on over here, I simply wanted to state that a new jailbreak has not been released. Once a new jailbreak is available, you guys will definitely know it because down below in the title of the video itself, it will actually state NEW in all caps, JAILBREAK, followed by whichever firmware version it's intended for, and the same thing can be said for all of my past jailbreaks. This, like my other update videos, is simply an update, and you guys will know that by looking at the thumbnail as well as the entire title. That's absolutely crucial to keep in mind there. So now let's go ahead and get into this. We're going to discuss iOS 9. So without a new jailbreak utility since January of 2015, those who who regrettably updated to or beyond iOS 8.1.3, the firmware that patched the Taiji jailbreak, are undoubtedly questioning whether a jailbreak for iOS 8.3 will come into fruition prior to the release of either iOS 8.4 or iOS 9. Now, as I highlighted in my last episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors, while Taiji and Pangu have both confirmed that they'll create a new jailbreak, the groups are faced with an incredibly tough decision to jailbreak 8.3 or to jailbreak 8.4. Now while the answer may sound obvious to those locked out of a jailbreak, it's not as simple from a strategic standpoint as explained in the last episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. I definitely recommend watching that if you guys have yet to. But I'm not going to focus on an iOS 8.3 jailbreak in today's video. I'm not really going to discuss that and get too much into that. We're going to talk about something that's potentially more dire iOS 9. So Apple's next major firmware, again being iOS 9, will be unveiled to the masses next month during the company's annual WWDC or Worldwide Developers Conference, and it will also be released to developers then. And while it will certainly be exciting to glimpse the future of iOS, the firmware may very well increase the difficulty of jailbreak development exponentially. So as the majority of jailbreakers are aware, new jailbreak tools require the exploitation of vulnerabilities within iOS itself to achieve root access and, in turn, install Cydia, the graphical user interface for installing and managing third-party tweaks that rely on substrate and root access. Now, while Apple continues to patch vulnerabilities following the release of new jailbreak utilities with updated firmwares, there's seemingly a never-ending flow of new vulnerabilities as each iOS update has the potential to yield exploitable flaws in light of the addition of new features that could very well change. According to a new and recent report from 9to5Mac, iOS 9, codenamed Monarch after a ski mountain, will adopt an Apple Watch-esque colorful Siri interface, a new default wallpaper based on a green and blue color scheme, and are you guys ready for the real kicker? Apple is allegedly quote, been working overtime on substantial security improvements. Now, this unquestionably raises a red flag for those who have become a part of the jailbreak scene, developers and users alike. Although Apple has beefed up security for iOS a countless number of times throughout the years, iOS 9 is rumored to be almost entirely focused on improving iOS's overall performance and now, apparently, its security. With each new iteration of iOS, additional challenges arise for jailbreakers, and although it's too early to definitively state whether iOS 9 may usher in a substantially less enjoyable iOS experience for those who rely on jailbreaks to customize their devices, jailbreaking iOS 9 will almost certainly be more of a challenge than either iOS 8.0 or 8.1.x. Furthermore, considering we know for a fact that Pangu has new exploits they've been testing on iOS 8.3 for several weeks, now would almost be the opportune moment to release a new jailbreak. If iOS 8.4 is the iOS 7.1.x equivalent release for iOS 8, a potential iOS 8.4 jailbreak could remain unpatched until iOS 9's release. Again, I went over over all of that in the most recent episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. However, without a new jailbreak for iOS 8.3, are Taiji and Pangu truly up to the task of jailbreaking iOS 9 when it's available to the masses this fall? 
only time will tell. And of course, I will keep you guys completely updated along the way. So just be sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you have yet to by clicking on that subscribe button down below next to my channel name. Remember, this is kind of an interesting time in the world of jailbreaking because Pangu and Taiji are faced with the tough decision of iOS 8.3 or 8.4. Both have their ups and both have their downs. There's no denying that. So check out some of the recent coverage that I have on the topic linked to down below in the more info. iOS 9 may prove more difficult for jailbreakers. Will it still continue to thrive though? We'll just have to wait and see. I will again let you guys know of any new developments as they unfold along the way. And if you want to be updated even more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like jailbreaking or even the Apple Watch, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.